Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So excited to have you here today. It is officially gorgeous out. I know it took a little bit for me to upload this video, but I was getting everything together. I was like super undecided if I should go and get some stuff that I've been wanting from Ulta or Sephora or just do like a drugstore things like that so you know it gets very difficult to choose especially like when you go into like Ulta I get so overwhelmed because I want to buy like everything but I'm like I can't do that <laughs> you know because I'll be spending like all my savings if that were the case um but exciting stuff happening I got a brand new mirror for my birthday my birthday was on Monday June 10th I turned 28 I know Oh my god, I'm getting old. But that's aside from the fact. Um, so I hope the lighting is so much better today for you guys. Um, I'm really digging the mirror. It's beautiful and I really, really... Today we're going to be doing a drugstore haul. I got a bunch of stuff from Walmart. I also got a few things from Macy's. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to include them or not because some of it was skincare, things like that. But I'm going to show you guys what I got from Walmart first. I'm so excited to try this out. I haven't heard anybody talking about this foundation or this line from CoverGirl, so I'm excited to try it out for you guys. This is supposed to be sweat proof, smudge proof, and humidity proof. So you know, girl, that I'm a personal trainer and a health coach, so I need to be able to keep my makeup on all day. Seeing clients, working out myself, different things like that. So when I saw this, I'm like, well, we need to see if this really works, right? So I'm gonna be doing my makeup, with you guys today, trying on that stuff. Then I'm going to the gym in a little bit. So I'm gonna go to the gym, come back and check in with you guys and show you if it stayed on, did it come off, is it melting? We're gonna see exactly if it lives up to its claims. So, I'm very, very excited. I'm sorry for the long intro, but I had to get that out and let you guys know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell right there so you can get notified of all my future uploads. It really would mean so much to me, um, and I really, I really would appreciate it. And aside from that, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So, first and foremost, we got a big Walmart bag. Yes, girl. I ended up spending $170. I did buy some like food and things like that so the makeup I would say came out to about 130 well we'll say that all right so not everything I'm gonna show you we're gonna be using today but I want to show you what I got so first and foremost this is the primer that is for this new line from covergirl so the line is outlast all day active series okay the active line so the primer looks like this it's CoverGirl Outlast All Day Primer. So this primer keeps your makeup looking fresh. It's oil free. So it's supposed to extend the makeup and help really um, you know, activate the ingredients that are in the foundation that are gonna make the makeup stay on. So I had to get this, because remember I told you guys, I believe that foundations work best with their set primer that was made for that foundation. So I wanted to give this foundation a fair shot. So we're gonna be trying that today. Our foundation looks like this, and I really hope that this color works for me. Looks like that, so cute. CoverGirl Outlast Active. I'm loving the black and red aesthetic. It's really eye-catching and nice. It's 24-hour foundation. So this is supposed to be up to 24 hour wear that won't let you down. Sweat proof, transfer proof, humidity proof, oil free, won't clog your pores. Dermatologist tested and suitable for all skin types. So I got number, like the color 832 and that is nude beige. Um, I had tried a few different ones while I was there. Some were like more orangey undertone, some were pink, some were neutral. Um, so this nude beige was more of a yellowy neutral undertone. So I hope that this matches um, me today. I also got the 
setting spray, which is new, that goes with it. This is a cooling setting mist for all day wear. This again is in the Outlast Active line. So they made a new setting spray to go along with the foundation and primer. So this is supposed to lock makeup in place all day, seal your look, so it's smudge proof, transfer proof, and humidity proof all day. Microfine mist has a lightweight, breathable feel, suitable for all skin types, and this again was dermatologically tested, which I love. Um, I also got this, which we'll try out another day for days that we want to be really like natural, but just give ourselves a little pick me up and let the skin be like, um, you know, like really beautiful looking and not like show any like imperfections. I got the new, this is also new, CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. So this says that it's for oily skin. I have normal to dry skin. So we'll see how this works. I didn't see one for like dry skin specifically. But sometimes some products, you know, they'll say for oily skin, but they actually work good for all skin types. So, um, this looks like this, and they actually have a whole line of this clean mat. Like they had um, the like pressed powders and things like that that will go with this BB cream. So this is supposed to be um, CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream provides the perfect amount of coverage to even your skin tone, hide blemishes, and keep you shine free all day. So um, hence the clean matte. I thought that was really cool and I got this in 530 that's light medium so they had fair light light medium medium and then medium to dark so I decided to go with light medium because it depends on days if I am self tanned or not like I haven't self tanned in like two weeks so I'm a little more on the pale side today so we'll be trying that out in uh, one of my next um, videos so stay tuned for that let me know if you guys are excited to see this first impression um, also I would love to know if anybody has tried this active line from covergirl I really would love to hear what you thought about it how it looked um, and also any suggestions you guys have for me things that you want to see a first impression of even if it's like clothes whatever I'm totally open to any feedback or ideas that you guys have for me so don't be shy all right so I also got the covergirl exhibitionist all day lip liner because girl you know we're going for an all day look right so this is in the color caramel nude it's supposed to be rich color smooth glide so it looks like that and I'm really excited because I know that this color is going to match a lot of different lipsticks. I can put it underneath pinks, um, you know, mauves, browns, things of that nature. So it really is a versatile product. So I was excited about that. We also have the CoverGirl Get In Line Liquid Liner. And this is a 0.1 millimeter feather fine tip and this is in 320 major matte black they had um, a bunch of different blacks that were not matte and things like of that nature but I really like the way a matte liner looks so this is what it looks like let's hope that this works and this looks gorgeous on it's supposed to be long-lasting uh, quick dry formula and removes with soap and water so it's super easy to remove that really drew my attention. I like that. I also got from e.l.f. Stardust Glitter Eyeliner in Pink Opal. I think this is so cute for like festival looks, holiday, you know, just going out for the summer at night, like doing like a cut crease and then putting this, this glitter liner on top in the middle on your crease. I think it's so cute. Like it has a really pretty iridescence to it. So you can also use this like just as like an eyeliner like across your eye and not put any shadow. I think there's going to be a lot of different looks that we can make with this, which is cool. I also got, which was on sale, so I was super psyched about it. I only paid $3.50 for this. This is the Maybelline Cashmere White Lasting Drama by iStudio. It's a waterproof gel pencil. It's 
ultra smooth glide up to, up to 16 hour wear. And I really got this for um, my waterline, just to give my eye a nice pop. So I thought this was really nice white. It's a very like stark white and I think it will look really good in the waterline. And I also got this, which I was really excited to try. So I got, it's from e.l.f. It's a lock on lip primer in clear. So it looks like this. I have never heard anything about um, a lip primer, like that it makes your lipstick stay on. So really cool. It's supposed to help lock down the lip color and prevents fading, bleeding, and creasing. Cause you know how sometimes matte lipsticks, they crease and it makes your lips look like dry and you get that like butthole effect, which we don't like, right? Um, so I'm excited to try this out and see if it works. We also got the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Micro Fine Define, uh, Micro Fine and Define Pencil Crayon in Honey Brown. I thought this was nice. I thought that it was just light enough slash dark enough to be perfect for my eyebrows. Um, full naturally defined brows. I've heard very good things about this um, brow pencil, so we will just see about that. I'm very excited to show you guys this. This is the eyeshadow palette we're gonna be using today. And this is from Profusion, one of my favorite, favorite brands you guys know from the drugstore. I love their palettes. So this is the actual Festival Profusion palette. How cute are these colors? Like OMG. I cannot wait to try these out, see the formula. I really think they went in gorgeously with um, their festival colors. I love that like these are all the browns. We got yellows, orange to coral. We got pinks. Um, we got purples, blues, and then we kind of have more like nude colors, browns, golds, things of that nature. Um, so I think this is so cool. It has such a mix of mattes and shimmers, which I love, some metallics. My favorite, favorite color is this one right here. I love turquoise and teal. These two colors are like calling my name, girl. So I'm super psyched to try this out. It is a 35 shade Pro Pigment Palette. And this was $12.98, guys. So $13, we got 35 shades. And you know that their formula is so freaking good. Um, so I'm really pumped to try that. This is also new from CoverGirl. It's the Peach Punch Highlighter Palette. It's peach scented. So they're getting their, um, they're getting up on their game. So they actually had like separate ones, like you could buy like the um, blush separately, like singly. Um, so you could buy the blush singly, you could buy highlighters singly, um, but I actually didn't see, like they were sold out of all the, um, the bronzers singly. So I decided to get this palette because it comes with the highlighter, the blush, and the um, bronzer. So it's all in the peach line, which I think is perfect for the summer. I can get this open. Okay, so cute. This is what it looks like. Open it up. Oh my gosh. It really does smell like peaches. How beautiful. Let's look at this highlight. Look how beautiful. It's peachy pink undertone. I hope you guys can see that with my lighting. It's absolutely gorgeous. We have the blush here. So pretty. It's like a pretty sheen blush, but still your peach undertone. So it's like that. This one here, gorgeous. And then we have a warmer bronzer here. So I think that this highlight is gorgeous for the summertime. Um, I'm super psyched to try this out. And I love that it's peach scented. It has like the peaches, like so cute. Um, I also got the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Age Defying Pressed Powder. So we can set the face today using the same um, brand, the CoverGirl mostly. I got it in natural beige, 120. Love this. This is what it looks like. Super cute. 
Open it up, natural beige, just like that. I love that it comes with a little mirror. And this is a silky smooth formula. Contains skin brightening pigments. You know I love my brightening, if you've been watching me for a while. Um, this And it glides on for an even, naturally radiant finish. Apply throughout the day for quick touch-ups. Use with advanced radiance, age-defying makeup for instantly restoring your youthful look. Um, as far as the um, concealer goes, I did not find a concealer that went with the active line. At least I didn't see one there. So we'll just be using my favorite at the moment, the Flower Beauty um, one that I've been loving. I got three lipsticks, so depending on what uh, color we're doing, our eyes will decide. They were only $2.50. Why? I don't know. So these are by Kate. So cute. So Rimmel, Kate lipsticks. We got, let's see, this is Kate Nude. So beautiful. I think it's like the perfect brownish pink nude. So pretty. We have the Kate um, Matte Red. Look how pretty the packaging. I'll take off that $2.50, but it's a beautiful deep red. And then we have number 700 Clothes, it's called. Um, Unclothes. <laughs> Not clothed, unclothed. And this is from Rimmel, but it's not the Kate edition. And I think this is so cute when you're looking for a more neutral nude, when I wanna just throw on a pretty lip. So I decided to get the lipsticks so we could try on the lip primer and see it on these lipsticks, because they're not really long lasting per se. And last but not least, I grabbed myself another Wet n Wild Coconut Primer Water, which I absolutely love, and I used it all, and I needed to restock. So, we got another one of those. Okay. So now that I rambled on and on with you guys, <laughs> I will go ahead and get started. Let's go in. Okay. Smells good. Ah, I got bronzer on my nose. Mmm. So, it smells just like, um, you know, like how CoverGirl's stuff usually smells. Like, so good. Like, clean. Ooh. So, this feels super, like, not thick, but more on, like, the thicker side. It feels, like, tacky as I'm rubbing it in. Ooh, it feels nice. It's definitely on the tacky side. So I could see how this is gonna hold the makeup on. Ooh, it smells so good. I really like this. It feels nice and hydrating. It feels really nice. Excuse my blemishes and all this crazy stuff going on on my face. I'm getting my period like any day now. So I'm breaking out and I'm a picker. I pick my face. But don't worry, this makeup's gonna cover it all up and we're gonna be looking gorgeous very, very soon. Right, so we're gonna be using the Flower Beauty Foundation Brush. Let's try this out, baby girl. We'll put a little bit and then we'll add more if we need to.
Okay, so I really, really like the way this is blending out. It was super easy to blend. It definitely is a little more on the sticky side. It's most definitely a medium um, to full coverage. You can for sure build it up. Um, I see that it covered up a lot of my redness and other blemishes that I had, all except for this one right here, which is actually a scab. So those are obviously the hardest to cover up. But as far as everything else, I really like the way um, the finish is. It's definitely a matte finish, um, but I think it looks nice. It definitely feels like I don't have anything on my skin. So I do really like that. Let's go ahead and put on our concealer. This is the Flower Beauty Concealer, which I absolutely love. It's full coverage. It's so creamy, but like thin creamy. So it does increase. It looks absolutely gorgeous on, and I absolutely love it. It gives such a pretty brightening effect. Like I'm obsessed. Do you see how that just brightens everything up and really made everything look gorgeous? So we're gonna go underneath the eyes with the Flower Beauty. Um, this is the Major Glow um, Satin Finishing Powder. So we'll put this underneath the eyes to finish brightening this up. And then we'll do the rest of the face with the CoverGirl. It comes with a little like poof. You know we're not using that. We'll take our CoverGirl Advanced Radiance with our BH Cosmetics number two brush. Ooh, I like this. It's definitely giving that little bit more coverage that I needed. Really nice. Beautiful, I love this. See how this is coming together? It's super bright here underneath the eyes. It looks really, really beautiful. So we're just gonna go in and give ourselves a little spritz with the um, CoverGirl Outlast Active setting spray just so we don't look too powdery. But I really like the way that um, Advanced Radiance Powder gave me that extra coverage and it really gave me like that really pretty sheen to my face. So we're taking the CoverGirl Outlast Active Spray, just spits a little bit. Ooh, smells good. Just so we don't look powdery. Very nice, all right. So let's go ahead and do these eyebrows first and then we'll go in on our eyeshadow. So we're using that CoverGirl. Easy breezy brow. It looks like this. So you got your spoolie, one side, which I like that's very thin. And then, ooh. Nice, thin point for application. All right, I'll zoom you in a little. I'll do one brow with you guys and then I'll do the other brow off camera because you've seen me do my brows a million times.
Oh my gosh. This is amazing. I love the way this brow pencil works. It's so good. It lets me be so precise. I love it. It lets me flick very easily on the center to make like the center of my brows. This looks freaking gorgeous. Like, I love this brow pencil. Oh my God. Now, the hard part is trying to match this brow to that brow. So look at the difference. That's my natural brow. Has like so much sparseness, it looks horrible. The crazy thing is I used to not do my brows. Like, can you imagine? And then this side. Just like what a brow can do for the face is just amazing. All right, so I'm gonna finish up this brow and then we'll get into that festival palette. Okay, so I finished up my brows. I cleaned them up, made them a little more like sharp and natural looking and put a little bit of highlight underneath which will add the highlight that's gonna match my cheek there as well later. So let's go ahead and get into this festival palette which I'm loving. So beautiful. So, Let's see, where are we gonna start? So let's go in first with a neutral shade. Just using a crease brush from my signature set that I got from Marshalls, which I love. And we're gonna go in with Likeable first. And that is this one right here. Just to set a base, just a matte. So it will be easier to put on all the other shadows. Time is going by. The makeup and foundation is looking even more beautiful. It's really like settling and it looks good. It's covering everything. The color really matched perfectly. I love this eyeshadow. Look at this, how beautiful. It's just so easy to blend, and this is a matte. It's just that brown color, and it's super pigmented. It's not patchy. I'll zoom you in a little. It's just perfect. Yes, orange. Okay, so we got some color on there. So we went ahead and we did a bright sunny yellow, a really light, light white yellow, and then some coral. And we did our um, crease with a brown and underneath, then went ahead and went with coral. Um, a little pop of blue, and then we did a nice orange pop in the middle of the eye here. Gorgeous, darling. Let's go ahead and try this CoverGirl liquid eyeliner. I'm so scared, but I have to say, guys, I absolutely love this festival palette. The matte and the shimmers are all super pigmented. They're very easy to work with. They're super easy to blend within each other. They don't give you really any fallout underneath here. They didn't leave any like powdery inside of the palette here either. So I highly recommend this palette for the summertime. I think that it's gonna be a perfect addition um, to your set. Okay, so the liquid eyeliner from CoverGirl, I love the way the wand is, like the holder. It's actually a very thin applicator, which I like. I think it's gonna be easy to make a wing, but we will see. Oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so this is really hard. Okay, so it's really hard to make a wing and to draw because it dries so quickly. I mean, it's nice and dark, but as you can see, it's very patchy. And it's really hard to go over like your eyeshadow because I have the shimmer. It was like breaking and it was like jumping. Like it was really, really hard. So I'm gonna try to do this one off camera because it's so hard to do. And I will be right back. All right guys, so I tried to do my eyeliner with this CoverGirl, horrible. Okay, like it was so patchy. It made a freaking mess. The um, applicator was like way too flimsy. So I ended up using the Ico London Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner and Wide Lash. Amazing. This thing is so good. This is the first time I tried this. The applicator is like this. It's perfect. So easy to use. Um, like sturdy enough that you can make your wing really pretty. Doesn't go all over the place. This is absolutely horrible. I would not invest in that liquid eyeliner whatsoever. Let's put on my favorite mascara from L'Oreal. The Superstar X Fiber. Because I'm going to the gym to try out this foundation and um, setting spray and primer and seeing if it's going to stay on through sweat and humidity and if it's really transfer proof. I'm not gonna put on lashes. I'm just gonna do my eyelashes, which this mascara makes you look like you have fake eyelashes on anyway. So it's like, why even bother with the fake lashes, right? So we just used side one. So we're gonna go ahead and use side two now. And this is where you're gonna get your volume and a little more length. I have to say though guys, like so far so good. I've had this makeup on now for about an hour I would say and it still looks flawless. It hasn't moved at all. It still is the same color. It's not um, like cracking or disintegrating around the face. It looks absolutely flawless. So I'm really, really liking it. So let's go ahead and try out um, Peach Punch Highlighter Palette from CoverGirl. So excited to try this. Hey, look how pretty. Mmm, and it smells so good. Yum. We'll bronze up the face with some bronzer here. Give ourselves some warmth. And then we will go ahead and contour with the Tarte bronzer. Ooh, this is pretty. I love it, it smells so good. It's a definitely a warmer bronzer rather than cool. I think it's really pretty for days that we wanna be a little more subtle. I think that if you are darker than me, um, a little bit, you know, like darker complexion than me, you're not gonna be able to see this um, bronzer too much. It's very light. I'm not sure though if they have another palette, like the same um, peach punch palette, just in darker shades. I'm sure they probably do. Um, but I only saw this one. Like this is absolutely gorgeous. I love the way this color looks. It's giving me like such a different like um, look than I normally do. And I'm really liking it because I really like to switch things up and I feel like this warmth of this um, bronzer really gives you like that really natural pretty um, peachy bronze look so I really like this especially if my decolletage is showing 
Don't worry, we're gonna put some highlight. I'm loving this. It looks so, like even prettier in person. It's really, really a beautiful color. We're gonna go ahead in with the Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer. And we will use a thinner brush, kind of like this, like this, to contour. You see how the contour shade was more cool toned, so it really chisels out the face. We'll even add a little bit more warmth up here. Okay, now we're gonna take our peachy blush. Wow, that's so beautiful. Oh my God. That's like the perfect peach blush. I'm loving this peach punch palette. So cute. I think this is perfect for the summer. You guys know I love my blush. Now let's check out this highlight. Woo, super peachy. Beautiful. Wow, that's definitely something different than I normally use. I like this. Look at that, it just like glistens up the skin. Do you see this? You guys could probably see it better on this side. This is so beautiful. Pretty. All right, let's spray our face before we do our lips. Super pretty. All right, so first of all, we're gonna go in with our Lock On Lip Primer. So excited to try this and see if it really works. And it's clear, which I think is so cool. and like tacky. Not sticky where your licks, lips, licks, where your lips stick together, not at all. Tacky like how a primer feels. It says to let that dry for 30 seconds. Then we'll go in with our CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lip Liner in Caramel Nude. I really like how the makeup came out today. Um, so far, I have to say, I really, really am liking the CoverGirl Active Foundation. I think it's gorgeous. I think it looks really beautiful on the face. It's super natural, um, but still gives you like the coverage that you need. It does not feel like I have any makeup on my face and for a matte, um, foundation usually they feel very drying and like hard and like you can't move your face <laughs> like you got Botox or something but like this feels like I have nothing on my face 
I am in love with this peach punch palette. I think it's so beautiful. I love this bronze. I love the highlight. It's something so different than I normally have. Um, I don't have any peach highlighters. I love the blush. Everything about this is amazing. I highly recommend this. The Tarte um, bronzer is super cute too. I love that it smells like coconuts. I think it's really pretty to contour with. Maybe we'll use it together when we use the Clean Matte BB Cream. Um, I really, really like the setting spray. It's a good smell. It feels nice and cooling, like it says. Um, we'll see if this really holds and if it is an all day wear. Um, I'm really excited to see how this stays on after sweating at the gym, because I go in at the gym where I'm like profusely sweating. So I'm excited to see if the makeup holds. Obsessed with this festival palette. First of all, because the price was amazing, but second of all, because the colors are gorgeous. It gives you so many options. You could do so many looks with that palette. This primer feels really nice on the lips. We're gonna try out this lip liner now. I like that this is a very caramel, true to color lip liner. It truly is a caramel. It's a really beautiful brown, and I think it looks perfect with this makeup look. We're gonna go in with the nude lip, because I think that's gonna look the best. Let's see. Ooh, it smells good. Yes, girl. Mmm, it feels super creamy and really nice on the lips. I feel like that, this color really brought the peach and everything really together. The only you thing I really hated, and I hate to say hate, because I really love CoverGirl. I think that they make really awesome products, but this um, eyeliner needs to go horrible like I don't know if it's like because it's the matte formula it dries so quickly it's just way too flimsy I couldn't make a wing the way I like to make the wings um, it was just super patchy and it really did not do any justice for the look um, it's really really hard to work with however this Aiko 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 London black magic um, eyeliner Love this. This might be my new favorite. I really like the way it feels. It's the perfect size. The applicator is just hard enough and uh, like stiff enough and thick enough that it allows me to make um, my wing and it's very, very easy and nice to work with. I, I really liked the brow pencil from CoverGirl. The, um, this was the ultra fine brow pencil in Honey Brown really liked this. I feel that it's very easy to work with. The formula is like that mix of pencil and wax, so it fills in that sparseness while also giving you enough like smoothness and cream to actually make the um, like shape that you want. It allows you to make the brow hairs in the front. The spoolie is perfect. It blends through. It's just thin enough that you can lighten up the front here so it kind of fades into a darker brow, which is the way I like to do my brows. So I have to say, overall, I really, really enjoyed a lot of these products. I think that it was definitely a hit. I love that they came up with a um, line for those of us who are active, but we still like to get glammed up and beat our faces, because you know, um, so I'm really, really excited about all this. I can't wait to see how this lasts. And I also can't wait to see if this lip primer works as well. So I will definitely 
check in with you guys later. I might either uh, come in on video and let you know how everything went or I may just um, write in the comments underneath the video of how it lasted and I will post pictures up as well um, in the video and on my Instagram. So don't forget to follow me there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I know that I did. I love finding new drugstore things and seeing how they work and letting you guys know what's worth it and what isn't worth it. Um, so without spending millions of dollars, which is always the best part about all of this. So enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I love you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.